Hi, Namaskaram and welcome back. I'm wearing an Adiyogi t-shirt and behind me, Adiyogi himself. It's been one month into Sadhana Pada journey and today I'll be sharing some incidents, some small experiences of me being in Sadhana Pada for last one month. And what is Sadhana Pada? And also, if you are from Sadhana Pada 23 batch, then I have an exciting deal for you not deal in fact an exciting opportunity for you if you want that opportunity then stay till the end of the video okay after coming here in sadhana pada first thing they did was orientation and in the orientation it was a seven day program and in the seven days they took our phones and they made us pass through a certain intensity now when i'm saying intensity it was the tightly jam-packed session one after another for next seven days and in these seven days they made us go through hatha yoga programs they made us go through different types of sadhana different types of games and all so after going for these seven days there was no single muscle that was aching there was pain in entire body we had to sit a longer period of time in other siddhasanas but what i can tell you after this orientation is that the last seven months after doing a lot of sadhanas what i've not what i did not achieve in these seven days i felt that i have gone to that far this is what the orientation did to me now before coming here to the ashram i had planned that i'm going to make my life more intense i don't want to speak i don't want to make friends and i just would like to do the sadhana because so far what i have thought is i I should go more and more into the spiritual aspect uh, and withdraw from the social aspect of life. But forget about this technical and uh, intellectual stuff about spirituality, but let's approach it as a normal life. First focus on well-being, that's what entire Sadhana Pada focuses on. Entire Sadhana Pada is designed in such a way that it inevitably going to give you the transformation it is a fail proof program why am i saying that that is a really fail proof program see when you go towards something with a certain expectation and that expectation fulfills you feel oh that's nice but when you go towards something without expecting something or even after expecting something you get what you have never even imagined of then you are poof, blown away isn't it so that's what is going to happen with you in this particular ashram. If we talk about Sadhana Pada, the basis, the foundation because of which it is transforming people is the timetable. Everything in here are organized and also disorganized as well. Why am I saying that? See, in the timetable, since the beginning 4.30 till 9.30, everything is planned for you. But since you are a volunteer, there is no pressure from any side. Definitely you have seva. Now, when, I'm, when it comes to seva, it is not something that somebody puts a burden on yourself, but it is something that you choose to be intense enough. Every single seva is just a normal walk to perform, to do. But it can be made as intense as it can go, depending upon how you do it. If you go for Linga Seva, it starts from 4.30 a.m. in the morning, so you have to wake up around 3.30. And from 3.30 to 9.30 or around 10, I could say, entire time period, the entire Vakti Sadhana. It's not a difficult job to do, but when it comes to intensity, you can make more and more intense depending upon how you do it. Since morning till the end, if you can stand and do Namaskaram with this, with this beautiful, genuine smile on your face, with to all the devotees, who are coming to the ashram is something intense if you can choose you can go for some break if you can if you want then you can do something else if you want then you can also sneak out as well but everything that you do over here is also gives you an opportunity to make itself intense that is the reason why I told you that the timetable that they are giving is actually covering the major part of the Ashtang Yoga, which are Yam Niyam, Asan Pranayam Pratyahar Dharan Dhyan Samadhi, Yam Niyam. So basically guidelines that they have given to you, external guidelines that they are always there to support you. Now internal disciplines and guidelines are something that you have to create. Now because of their timetables, internal disciplines inevitably comes to your life. But post that asana, pranayam, pratyar, asana, they will teach you, yoga asanas you have to do and they will make sure that you do every single day. So that's why they have kept it guided as well. Now, pranayam, pratyahara, pranayam is something that you are already been doing. 
with lots of kriyas with the breathing technology i mean techniques and all it's not that every everything or every pranayam that you would be doing but certain amount of certain amount from each aspect of ashtang yoga they have they have already put into this entire program after asan pranayam pratyahara they also in pratyahara they send you to be silent in some certain programs particularly but if you want then you can withdraw your own senses do not speak do not talk to everybody much do not listen to everything do not watch your phone if it's not needed so if you want then you can also withdraw your senses and do this pratyahara to deepen your experience into life after pratyahara dharana dhyana samadhi till this दे ऑल्सो एलाउ यू टू गो भाव स्पंदना शून्या एंड ऑल्सो संयमा सो इफ यू वॉन्ट देन यू कैन एक्सेस टू ऑल दिस अस्टांग योगा एंड परफॉर्म दिस अस्टांग योगा इन दिस सेवन मंथ्स ऑफ साधना पादा पीरियड सो इनएविटेबली इन स्पिरिचुअल इन स्पिरिचुअल टर्म्स इट कैन नॉट इट कैन इट इज डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू गिव यू द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दैट यू हैवर नेवर इवन इमेजिन ऑफ ना बाय द टाइम यू कम आउट ऑफ द प्रोग्राम it is not possible that things have not changed within you because it's designed like that now when i came here for the first time during my check in period i was going through check in and at the end of the check in counter there was a exit counter in that exit counter one aka was sitting just right behind the person in the check in counter and she asked me this question do you make youtube videos and i was a little bit embarrassed but i said yes because it it gives you a cringe feeling when somebody asks you that question i do not feel myself on youtuber i just create some videos because i feel like creating them now later we met again and she told me that my video actually helped her and she wanted to see more of it and also she requested me that if i can include them in my videos by the time i did not know that she is from sadhana pada 23 batch as well so here's the deal i'm going to include some of you in this video if you are from sadhana pada 23 batch and in the video what i'm going to do is we're going to share our own experiences of sadhana pada till date whatever the incident that you have faced whatever your experiences are now if you are watching this video and planning to come and share your own experience then prepare in your mind that one experience how you going to express it and then fill the form down in the description below in that if once you fill the form i'll reach back to you and we can have a conversation and after after the conversation we can have a time schedule for ourselves and we can come Come here in front of Adiyogi since we do not have permission to record videos anywhere else in the ashram, and we also have a question and answer session about this ashram. So I'll be asking some certain question about the ashram that you might be knowing, that you might not be knowing, and I'll be telling you the answers, but not in the video because I can ask the repeated question to some people in the future in the same videos as well. So it is an exciting opportunity for you and me as well. So if you are interested, if you are excited, then go down below and fill the form now. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. नमस्कार